It's Tuesday, June 11th, 2024. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Changed, and our scripture is John's Gospel, chapter 5, where the beloved apostle writes, After this there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool in Aramaic called Bethesda, which has five roofed colonnades. In these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been an invalid for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Get up, take up your bed, and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his bed and walked. A typically stunted or worldly view of too many believers is expressed thusly, We are not Jesus, we can't do miracles. The problem with this thinking stems from an incomplete knowledge of Jesus Christ and an inadequate idea of that which Jesus has called us to be and do. We are much like Melvin in the movie As Good As It Gets. Melvin, played by Jack Nicholson, is a hermit-like novelist, so plagued by obsessive compulsive behavior he can't be around anyone for two minutes without offending everyone within earshot. Melvin repeatedly washes his hands, methodically locks and relocks the door, and in general avoids contact with other human beings. He carries rubber gloves so he won't have to touch the door handle on a taxi. His is a life bound by rigid routines and fears. He won't step on a sidewalk crack. At one point, in total frustration, he rhetorically pleads to the people waiting in his psychiatrist's office, what if this is as good as it gets? Helen Hunt plays the waitress Carol Conley in this movie opposite Nicholson. She works at the restaurant where Melvin eats. She's the only waitress who will serve him. In earthy sort, Carol possesses a sunny, accepting disposition, even though her life is hard. She lives with her mother and her chronically asthmatic son in a run-down New York apartment. The events of the story pit Carol's engagement with life's mundane and sometimes harsh reality against Melvin's detachment and self-absorption. Slowly, irretrievably, Melvin falls in love with Carol. He finds a doctor and he pays for the treatment of her son. He does a favor for a despised homosexual neighbor. He even forgets to lock and relock the door. In the end, an amazed Carol requites Melvin's love. She's fallen for the nutcase when all she wanted was a normal boyfriend. The final scenes show Melvin and Carol walking the sidewalk together just before daybreak. The lights come on at the corner bakery and they enter to check out the warm rolls. And as Melvin holds open the door for Carol, the formerly self-absorbed nutcase notices he's been walking on the sidewalk cracks. His attention has been on some one rather than all his fears. A grin, a small sigh, and he follows Carol inside. His is a changed life. For you today, with all apologies to psychiatrists, modern medical achievements, and all the self-help gurus, there's nothing in this world that can match the transforming power of genuine love, which is the power of Jesus Christ to change lives. His healing is the joy of release from sin's grip and the beginning of life, real life, and that is beyond a doubt as good as it gets. Now the radical view of Jesus is so different from most of his followers, we often say, or at least we think, we can't do much. And he said, freely you have received, give it to others in that same way. So it's our resolve that has to change. What Christ calls us to be and to do is to receive from him freely and in turn give freely. We must change from our impotence of we can't do much 
to that which Jesus gave to his disciples on the day he sent them out to preach the gospel, heal and defeat hell's demons. What Christ did, we must do. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.